Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about skincare. Since I started YouTube, my skincare routine has been one of the most common questions asked and most requested videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine and what I've done to achieve my clear skin. Along with a good, healthy, balanced diet, skincare is so important and unfortunately, it's something that a lot of people neglect especially teenagers. People say that they don't have the time or skincare is just too expensive. But I promise you, you can get really reasonable, really affordable skincare products to get the best out of your skin. And a lot of products can actually be made from the comfort of your own home. There are four different skin types, dry, oily, combination, and normal. Combination skin is when you're a mixture of two different skin types together. For example, you could have dry cheeks and an oily, t-zone or you could have oily cheeks and a really dry t-zone so these are just some examples of combination skin sensitivity however is not a skin type sensitivity and dehydration are not a skin type these are conditions your skin type cannot be changed however sensitivity and dehydration will just disappear with a good skincare routine and a good diet so when it comes to skincare, you're probably wondering, you know, what's the right thing to do or what exactly am I supposed to do? So there are three things you could be doing every morning and night, especially if you're wearing makeup. One of the most important things is cleansing. You should be cleansing your skin every morning and every night, especially if you wear makeup, and you should be cleansing your skin twice if you're wearing makeup. The first time to remove your makeup and the second time to remove any um, dirt, bacteria or anything, any junk that's like left over on the skin from your makeup or from the day. So the second thing is to tone and this is something that some people choose to leave out of their skincare routine and that's okay too. It is kind of optional but the uh, advantages of toning are there are two reasons. First of all, to remove any product that's left over on the skin, any uh, bacteria or any leftover cleanser or uh, makeup that's left on the skin. It's going to get rid of everything. It's also going to soothe the skin and get your skin's pH back to 5.5. That's the natural pH of your skin. And when your skin is, is balanced, it's going to be less inclined to break out or to go absolutely crazy. And you can unbalance your pH by simply washing your face. Water has a completely different pH to our skin, which in turn is going to unbalance it. And if you just washed your skin with a cleanser, it's going to affect your skin's pH a little bit. So a toner is just going to bring it back to that natural balance state. The next thing is to moisturize and moisturizing is so important to get that to get the best out of your skin, to keep it nourished, fresh, moisturized and young and supple looking. And um, so that's it for your daily routine. And uh, then you should definitely be exfoliating at least once a week if you're oily two times a week. Your skin renews itself every 28 days. So all that dead skin is left on the surface of your skin and you need to kind of scrub it away to get the best out of your skin. Some people think their skin is dry and flaky and it could just be that you have a lot of dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. One of my favorite cleansers is the Origins Clean Energy Cleansing Oil. And this is for dry to combination skin. It's a lovely, lightweight, uplifting oil and it's non-comedonegetic, which means that it doesn't clog up your pores and it doesn't cause breakouts or blackheads. Uh, it smells so beautiful, like pure essential oils. You, just by smelling it, you know that it's good for you. It also removes every trace of makeup that you have, even waterproof makeup, even benefits their real mascara. It removes it all. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it retails at 30 euros, so it is quite expensive. However, it does last about seven to eight months. Um, I'm near the end of mine here now, and I've got almost a year out of it. A really good, cheaper alternative would be the Ultra Bland Cleanser from uh, Lush. Uh, this is one of my favorite cleansers as well, and a really good alternative to the cleansing oil. Uh, it's like a buttery texture, but as soon as you add water to it, it turns into that nice oily texture. And this is made from pure essential oils. It's made from beeswax and also rose water. So the beeswax actually strips off all your makeup, but it's similar to the cleansing oil in the sense that it leaves a lovely nourished and moisturized layer on the surface of the skin. So you barely need to moisturize your skin afterwards. I also really liked that it's good for a problem and acne prone skin as well, even though it is 
quite a thick buttery texture it doesn't affect oily skin at all and there's a myth that if you have oily skin that you can't use these products and that is not true at all even though your skin is um, over producing sebum all these harsh cleansers can strip all the natural oils from your skin so using a cleanser like this will actually ensure that your skin is still nourished um, but still removes all the sebum on the surface of the skin if that makes sense so this is one of my favorite favorite cleansers of all time and again it's suitable for all skin types even problem prone skin <laughs> So when I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup or you know dramatic winged liner, it can be quite difficult to take off. So one of my go-to eye makeup removers is a baby oil. This is a really cheap um, eye makeup remover. It works absolutely perfectly, and it's something that most people already have in their bathrooms. So it literally costs nothing. If you do want to buy a bottle, it will last you probably about a year because you only need the tiniest little bit, and it costs under two euro. Um, baby oil is actually made from mineral oil. It's also got vitamin A, vitamin E and aloe vera in it. So it's very natural and very uh, good for your skin. Um, and it's good for locking in all that moisture and it's got loads of other other advantages to it as well. You can use it in the bath, a couple of drops in the bath will keep your skin nice and nourished. There's a lot of toners on the market and they're either very expensive or either full of alcohol. And I personally hate using alcohol on my skin because I have very dry skin anyway. So putting alcohol on my skin is just gonna dry it up even more, make it dry and itchy and irritated. And it's also just not going to make my moisturizer work as well. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of my good skincare routine. So I found it very, very hard to find a good toner to suit my skin. So I found one of the best toners on the market. And you're going to laugh because it's probably something that you already have in your kitchen. And that is chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is known for its soothing, its cleansing, and it's also really relaxing. Uh, it's got antibacterial properties and also anti-inflammatory properties. So if you have acne or acne scarring, it's really good to take down the swelling or the look of your scars. Traditionally, chamomile was used as a medicine. So it was used for colds, sore throats, psoriasis, eczema, and uh, acne. So that is really uh, interesting to know that it was used as a medicine so it's not only good for putting on your skin it's also really good for your body and for your well-being because it's a good natural cleanser it's also good to use as a cleanser and not only a toner so you can double it up and make it a two-in-one so if you don't want to invest in a cleanser this is a really good option the anti-inflammatory properties will take down any swelling on the skin so if you have any breakouts or if you have acne or acne scarring it's going to help with the healing process and take down the look of swelling or scars so I, I cannot recommend chamomile tea enough. So moving on to moisturizer, I'm currently using the vitamin C moisturizer from the body shop. This is a lovely, lightweight, fresh scented um, moisturizer. It smells like oranges, it's so beautiful. Um, there's no drying time in it, so you can literally pop on your makeup straight away and you don't have to worry about it sinking into the skin or anything like that. Uh, it also makes a good primer, I find, because it leaves your skin kind of tacky, so it's going to give your foundation something to stick to. This uh, moisturizer doesn't have a specific skin type, it just says that it's for a dull and tired and grumpy skin. So that kind of ticks all the boxes in itself, so I personally think it would be suitable for all skin types. If you want a cheaper alternative to your moisturizer, and this is another one of my favorite moisturizers and exfoliators, and eye makeup removers it's the coconut oil and this product has become so popular over the last couple of months um, the coconut oil has many different uses not only for cooking or for using it as a hair mask but it's also good as an eye makeup remover you could mix it with a little bit of sugar to turn it into an exfoliator or you could just use it as a cleanser. It's natural, it's got a vitamin E, so it's great for growth and repair. 
it's also got anti-aging properties which is a win-win and it's got uh, saturated fats which are actually good for protecting your skin and um, protecting um, your skin from moisture loss so normally moisture will escape through the pores on your skin but this is going to keep all that nourishment locked in and it's also going to give your skin a nice healthy and even looking texture and appearance for my under eyes I use the It's Potent Eye Cream it's got anti-aging properties it's also nice and brightening and I just find that it just gets rid of dark circles and just brightens up my under eyes it's also good for mixing in with concealer to lighten up the consistency and texture so it's not so heavy and chalky on my under eyes I mentioned this in a video before but your under eyes don't have any sebaceous glands so they cannot produce oil so they are the first place in your face to get really dry and crappy so they need that extra help that extra nourishment so you don't necessarily need to be over 25 to use eye cream anyone can use eye cream to keep your eyes hydrated however if you are over 25 I recommend purchasing an eye cream with anti-aging properties these are going to protect the collagen and elastin fibers in the skin from breaking down which will in turn prevent wrinkles or fine lines once you get wrinkles and fine lines there's no turning back there's no going back once it's done it's done no matter what the ads say once collagen and elastin fibers have broken down or have been torn away there's no way to replace them so it's I always say prevention is better than cure it's better to look after your skin now rather than in 20 years later when it's too late and there's nothing you can do so that is my lecture of the day your skin renews itself every 28 days so all that dead skin is just left over on the surface of your skin and needs some help to be scrubbed away so it is important to exfoliate but again you do not need to break the bank to get a good exfoliator um, like I said coconut oil and a bit of sugar a bit of salt will do the job perfectly uh, also one of my favourite scrubs is extra virgin olive oil little drop of honey and a bit of sugar and that makes one of the best exfoliators I've ever tried and it was actually recommended to me by my doctor with all that being said just make sure that you have a nice healthy and balanced diet and also drink plenty of water to keep your skin uh, nourished and hydrated and if you do that and have a good skincare routine I promise you you will get the best out of your skin and it will completely transform your life your makeup is going to go on so much smoother your skin is going to look so much healthier and you guys are going to be thanking me so <laughs> i really hope you enjoy this video i hope it was interesting uh, again i will do a more in-depth video if you would like to see that because this has been one of my most requested videos so um, if you'd like to see that then thumbs up this video leave a comment below whatever you'd like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye